If you own a Mac Mini and want to expand your selection of ports, there's no shortage of docks and adapters out there. I've reviewed a couple of them on this channel and use one on a daily basis in my own Mac Mini setup. One model that stood out to me last year was this one from Mini Supuru, and based on the comments left on that video, it proved a popular choice for lots of other people too. Mini Supuru have updated that model with this, and they've made quite a few positive changes. Quick disclaimer before we get started, Mini Supuru did send me this dock in order to review it, but this isn't a sponsored video and they have no say in the content of this video either. They're seeing it for the first time at the same time you are. So what's new with this latest Mac Mini dock then? Let's take a closer look. Inside the Mini Supuru docks box, you will find a wee bag of tools, more on that a bit later on, the dock itself, and the world's smallest, but somehow longest, instruction manual. The dock itself is made entirely of metal and feels really sturdy. Along the front of the dock, you'll find a micro SD card slot, a regular SD card slot, a USB-C port, and a USB-A port. The SD card slots are an incredibly useful addition here and support speeds up to 150 megabits per second. Like most Mac Mini docks, both the USB-C and USB-A ports only officially support data transfer, with speeds up to 10 gigabits per second, no less. Charging things or powering gear, like an audio interface, is not officially supported, though both ports were able to run an interface just fine for me. Obviously, your mileage may vary, and Mini Supuru have gone out of their way to specifically say that these ports aren't rated for that sort of thing. This is what the setup looks like in use then. The Mac Mini slots into this receptacle on top of the dock and it fits really snugly. There are rubber pads on all these inside edges, so there's no chance of your Mac Mini getting scuffed up while putting it in or out. Just like the previous model, the finish of the dock matches the silver of the Mac Mini almost exactly, which is really nice. You attach the dock to the Mini via this USB-C cable, which has a good amount of length to it, allowing you to stick your Mac into it pretty much any way you want to. On the bottom of the dock is a sneaky little compartment where you can install an SSD drive. This dock supports both M.2 NVMe and SATA SSD drives, and is a fantastic way to expand the storage of your Mac Mini. The ability to install an NVMe SSD is especially brilliant, as these drives often come pretty close to being as fast as Apple's own built-in storage. Your Mac will see this drive as long as you have the hub attached, and it's a much more wallet-friendly way of increasing your storage. For example, here in Finder on my Mac, the additional drive shows up right here, and you can save things and access it in the same way you would the built-in storage on your Mac. If you're unsure of what drives will work with this dock, there are lists of compatible NVMe and M.2 SATA drives in the manual, and I'll link to the best of these down below the like button. Finally, and I get that this is kind of a minor thing, but the rubber feet on the bottom of the dock are really grippy. You really have to work to get this thing moving, even on the flattest of surfaces. Good stuff. I make music and these videos in a tiny wee broom cupboard. So something like this, which not only adds additional connection options, but also drastically shrinks the footprint of what is an already quite small machine, is ideal for me and will also be for anybody else who has a smaller workspace. As ever though, it's the ability to install an additional SSD drive that really makes this Mini Supuru dock shine for me. As I'm sure you know, buying extra storage from Apple when you first configure the Mac you want to buy on the Apple Store is really stupidly expensive. For example, if you wanted to upgrade this base model Mac Mini's paltry 256 gigabyte storage to one terabyte, it would cost you an additional 400 quid. You could go out, grab this dock and a one terabyte drive for less than half of that. 
it's a no-brainer, really. You'll find links to the Mini Superior dock and some compatible NVMe and SATA SSDs for it down in the description. And if you found this video helpful and or interesting, give that like button a good hard slap. I really appreciate it. And if you fancy checking out even more lovely GarageBand gear, watch this next. <laughs>